Hi, welcome to Berkeley Biolabs. I just wanted to, my name is Ryan. I am the CEO of Berkeley Biolabs, and I just wanted to welcome you to our first in the series of highlights of what the companies are doing here in the lab. Uh, and so just to, to hand over to Adam, who is the CEO of Algas Biotechnologies. Algas is developing an algae bio battery, and Adam's going to walk us through his display here. Hello. Um, so we are doing research with algae-based composites made out of conductor polymers, carbon nanotubes, and algae. Uh, we are looking to make supercapacitor type systems that will be replaceable for current algae technology or battery technologies. So um, a little gist of what we're working on here is we are looking at clear tubes that we've stuffed full of uh, conductive materials and algae deposits. And we will start by looking at our uh, pre-charge, which right now, without any charge for quite a long time, is uh, looking at just about zero, so when we put charge into the system, we're looking at 0 0.02 amps and 6 volts as our charge. So this material is actually shrank, so it moves around in the tube. So just put our charge on there for a few seconds just to know that we've put power into the system. We'll turn that off. And we'll put it back on our voltmeter. And we'll show that we have some type of energy storage here. So these both lead to our voltmeter. And so Adam, you've, you've just added and now, some charge. Now we're looking at 0 0.3 volts. So that's just after a few seconds of throwing charge on there. So we're just looking at some clear tube with some stuff packed in there, putting out energy after we've put it in. So if you look, it's holding it pretty steadily. Um, we're going to use this to power some LED lights soon. So that's the next phase of our of our demonstration. And Adam, what would you say this is prototype number? This is prototype maybe ten. Okay. So we've been looking at some different ways to do graphical representations of our system, where we use uh, glow in the dark paint to project the energy flow through the system, and we've also looked at using thermochromatic pigments to change color as energy flows through the system. It's kind of a visual aid and to better study our mechanism. So and That's very cool. And, and Adam, just to have a look at these, these algae, so I'll just kind of come back in here. Like, could you tell us a little bit what, what, we, what you guys, what you and the team are doing with the so algae? So right here we have algae that's been dry, that's coated with thermochromatic pigment. This is going to change color. This is kind of a demonstration of what that looks like. We have a blue color too. Um, and, and so just to clarify on that, Adam, that blue color that we've got right there, yeah. that will change color? It should, but right now this one's not going to because the white in there, it should be a gel and it's actually solidified. Okay. So it's now crystalline. Mm -hmm. So the crystalline's not going to allow the properties that we're looking for. So we're still looking at an intermediate in between. Um, this is the composite algae that we're using. Uh, we dry sheets of algae and then coat it with conductive materials to create a matrix that is conductive and operates kind of like a fishnet for energy storage. So we trap it in that matrix and then we can release it later. So, so many, many more innovations coming. Yeah, so uh, this is just the mechanism for a whole bunch of downstream appli applications. Okay, great. And then we will be we'll be highlighting a few more of the companies relatively soon. We'll also be sharing the uh, experience of the interns that have been developing in-house technologies. Uh, and that will be coming in the next few weeks and months as we move forward, including updates from Outgas Biotechnologies. Thanks very much for, for, for coming in and watching our, our first uh, episode. And thank you very much to Eddie, our cinematographer and producer, for producing it. Thank you.